New to programming or thinking about trying out VS Code? You're in the right place. In this beginner's tutorial, we'll dive into VS Code, an awesome and easy to use code editor. We'll cover everything from getting it all set up to personalizing your workspace, making sure you're ready to start using VS Code with no problems. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jeremy, and this channel is all about helping you to become a better developer with the latest tools and techniques. There's a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started. The installation process is pretty straightforward, but let's go through it step by step to make sure everything goes smoothly. First things first, head over to the VS Code website at code.visualstudio.com. Once you're there, you'll see a download button in the top right corner. We'll go ahead and click that, and then you'll see buttons for Windows, Linux, and Mac operating systems. Just click the download button for the operating system you're using. After the download is finished, locate the installer file and double click it to start the installation. The process may vary slightly depending on your platform, but it's generally quite simple. For Windows users, just follow the prompts in the installation wizard. For Mac users, just drag the VS Code app into the application folder. Once the installation is complete, just go ahead and launch VS Code. You should see the welcome screen, which gives you quick access to recent projects, helpful resources, and customization options. VS Code has a clean and user-friendly interface that makes it easy to navigate and find the tools you need. Let's take a closer look at the main elements of the interface. The editor window. This is where you'll write and edit your code. You can open multiple files in separate tabs and even split the editor to work on multiple files side by side. The sidebar. Located on the left side, it provides quick access to various features like the file explorer, search, source control, and extensions. The status bar. At the bottom of the window, it displays useful information such as the current branch, errors, warnings, and the selected programming language. The activity bar. Positioned on the far left, it offers shortcuts to the most important features like File Explorer, Search, and Extensions. Navigating the code interface is a breeze. Just click on the icons in the activity bar to switch between different views. To open a file, use the File Explorer in the sidebar or press Ctrl O on Windows or Command O on Mac to bring up the open dialog. One of the coolest things about VS Code is that you can make it your own. You can customize the appearance by changing the theme, font, and more. To do this, click on the gear icon in the bottom left corner, and then under themes, you have the option for color theme, file icon theme, and product icon theme. Lastly, let's talk about the command palette. The command palette is a powerful feature that gives you quick access to various commands and settings. To open the command palette, press Control shift p on Windows or Command shift p on a Mac. Here you can search for and execute any command available in VS Code, making it a handy tool to have at your fingertips. So for example, if I want to change my theme, I can just search for theme and change the theme. You'll also see the corresponding keyboard shortcuts to some of the commands. VS Code has a wealth of built-in features that help you write, edit, and navigate your code with ease. Let's dive into some of the most important ones. First up is syntax highlighting, which makes it easier to read and understand your code by coloring different elements such as keywords, variables, and comments. VS Code supports syntax highlighting for many programming languages out of the box, and you can add more through extensions. VS Code also offers code formatting, which automatically adjusts your code's indentation, spacing, and line breaks to match a consistent style. To format your code, right-click on the editor and select format document. You can also use the keyboard shortcut shift alt f or shift option f on a mac now let's talk about code completion as you type vs code offers suggestions for variables functions and other code elements which can save you a ton of time and reduce the chances of typos this feature is called intellisense and is context aware and supports many programming languages to accept this suggestion just press enter or tap Navigating through your code is a breeze with the navigation features. You can quickly jump to the definition of a function or variable by right clicking on it and choosing go to definition. Searching for text or code elements is also straightforward. Use the search feature in the sidebar to find all occurrences of a keyword or phrase. You can also replace text by expanding the replace section under the search bar. Finally, let's talk about managing multiple files and workspaces. You can open multiple files in separate tabs and even split the editor to view and edit files side by side. Debugging is an essential skill for any developer and VS Code has powerful built-in debugging tools that make it easier to find and fix problems. 
Let's dive into the debugging process and learn how to use these tools. Before you can start debugging, you need to set up a debug configuration for your project. In the sidebar, click the Run and Debug icon and then click on Create a Launch JSON file. Here, VS Code will generate a couple of options for you to choose from that are tailored for your project's language and environment. Now it's time to set some breakpoints, which are markers in your code where the debugger will pause execution. To set a breakpoint, click in the gutter to the left of the line number and a red dot will appear. With breakpoints set, you can start a debug session. Click the green run button beside run and debug. The execution will pause at the first breakpoint encountered. While debugging, you can control the execution by using the debugging toolbar. Use the step over, step into, and step out buttons to navigate through your code. The continue button resumes execution until the next breakpoint, while stop ends the debugging session. During a debug session, you can inspect the values of variables in the variables panel. You can also hover over variables in the editor to view their values as a tooltip. The watch panel allows you to track the values of specific expressions as your code executes. Click the plus icon and enter an expression to monitor its value throughout the debug session. The call stack panel displays the sequence of function calls that led to the current breakpoint. You can click on an entry in the call stack to jump to the corresponding location in the code. And that's it. With these debugging tools at your disposal, you'll be able to track down and fix issues in your code much more efficiently. Version control is essential for any development workflow and VS Code offers seamless Git integration out of the box. To start using Git with your project, you'll first need to initialize a Git repository. Open the source control view in the sidebar and click on initialize repository. Your project is now under version control. As you make changes in your code, VS Code will automatically track them. In the source control view, you'll see a list of modified, added, or deleted files. To stage changes for a commit, just click the plus sign next to the file. If you want to learn more about the Git integration in VS Code, I have an entire video that covers this more in depth. Extensions are a key feature of VS Code, letting you add new features, languages, and themes to tailor the editor to your specific needs. There are thousands of extensions available and installing them is a breeze. Let's walk through the process of finding, installing, and managing extensions. To find and install extensions, click on the extensions icon in the activity bar. You can search for extensions by name, category, or keyword. Once you find an extension you're interested in, click the install button to add it to your VS Code environment. After installing an extension, you might need to configure its settings. To do this, go to the gear icon in the lower left corner of the window and then click settings and then select the extension from the list. Here you can adjust the extensions options to fit your preferences. To manage your installed extensions, go back to the extensions view. You can see a list of the installed extensions under the installed tab. If you no longer need an extension or want to temporarily disable it, click the disable or uninstall buttons next to the extension's name. Now let's customize the look and feel of VS Code. To change the theme, come back to the extensions panel and top in theme. I'm gonna go with this winter is coming theme and I'll just click install. Once the theme is installed, we can see that it is automatically enabled. To customize key bindings, open the command palette and search for keyboard. Then select open keyboard shortcuts. In this view, you can search for commands and modify their key bindings by clicking on the pencil icon next to the command and pressing the desired key combination. The integrated terminal in VS Code allows you to run commands, scripts, and tools directly within the editor, streamlining your workflow and keeping everything in one place. Let's dive into the terminal integration features. To open the integrated terminal, press Ctrl, back tick, and the terminal will open at the bottom of the editor window using the default shell for your system. You can have multiple terminal instances open at the same time, which can be helpful for running different tasks simultaneously. To create a new terminal, click the plus icon in the terminal panel or use the new terminal command from the command palette. You can switch between terminal instances using the menu on the right side. If you're interested in making your terminal look like mine, I have a video covering exactly how to do that step by step. I will leave a link in the description below where you can check that out. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. I hope this video has been helpful in helping you get started with VS Code. If so, be sure to check out my channel for other videos on VS Code. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.